there's something else that we don't often talk about or, or make clear enough. And that's what this little simulator is about. What I'm going to do is I'm going to just make it a little bigger. So hopefully you can still see this. Now, unfortunately, it was a person in South Africa I met and I cannot remember his name. I apologize if you happen to be listening. Um, but this is another way of presenting that PF curve that we just talked about. So here's the good old PF curve. Now, there are two things we need to take into account. Number one is that we decide for whatever reason that we are going to take a measurement here in time, here in time. So all the blue dots represent the current schedule for when we are going to take measurements. Okay, so you can see that they're all about two months apart. You know, there, here, 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 and here. So I I don't know what the condition of the equipment is here. I'm still assuming it's however it was right here. You know, when I've got my mouse here, you can see that it's above the little blue dot, which is when I take a measurement. So do I find out here, or here, or here, and so on and so forth? Okay. Um, so that's one question. You know, on the, I, I could take the measurements very frequently, or I could take them further apart. But let's just leave it like that for the moment. Okay, that is your test schedule. Um, at the same time, we have certain intervals when we can perform maintenance work, when there are planned shutdowns. Now, it might be um, quite, uh, well, that's the time of the next shutdown. So you might be in a business that doesn't get to shut down very frequently. It's like, okay, well, you need to understand that if I don't detect that problem before this shutdown, the next planned shutdown is outside our, our time window. On the other hand, if you've got a, oops, a daisy, if you've got a, um, a more well, uh, 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 an organization that can have shutdowns very frequently, uh, whether that's desirable or not, is a whole other discussion. Well, it's not, but, um, but it means that I can do maintenance at any time. So let's just go back to this scenario here. So just to make it clear again, if I find out that there's a problem at this point in time, I can't actually perform the work until the next green dot. That's the time when the plant would have been down anyway. Otherwise, we are forced to take the plant down or this section of the plant down um, uh, because the equipment's telling us if we don't do it now, it'll catastrophically fail. Okay. Now, if you've got redundancy, you can say, well, okay, I can take out unit A that has the fault um, and I'll keep running on unit B. OK, so in that case, we don't need to have this discussion. But for all equipment that isn't redundant, for all equipment that you can't just take out because you can see there's a bearing fault or there's an electrical fault or, you know, whatever it is, um, then we have to consider these issues. So the point I'm trying to make here is that if I now click my mouse, that means that I took a measurement on this day and detected that there was a fault. Remember, I can detect there's a fault because it's now detectable. So what I say is, hey, I've detected that there's a problem. I can see a repair is needed. So now I need some time to order the spares and do everything else uh, necessary, uh, do the job safety analysis and, and everything else until the point where I am ready to perform the work. So the plan has done what is necessary. Um, we've got everything ready to go. It's all good. The parts have been packaged up. Um, we're all ready to go. And now all we're doing is, you know, the schedule is waiting for the opportune time to perform the work. And that's here because that was the next time we planned an, an outage. The trouble is if instead we, we detected a problem here, it's like, oh, darn, by the time we get all the spares together and do the job safety analysis and, you know, get the procedures going and whatever we need to do, 
um, it's too late. By the time we're ready to do the work, the equipment has failed. Oh, darn. So instead, well, in, in this scenario right here, there is nothing we can do. I mean, it's going to fail because we're just not ready in time. So this is the sort of thing you need to think about. You know, if we um, uh, instead took the, you know, like, I'll just see if I can change the interval a little bit and say, what if I uh, perform a test here? Then again, the problem is that it just so happens that I wasn't ready before this shutdown. So we're, we're madly getting the job ready and it's like, oh, darn, you know, um, it, we're, we don't have the job ready. So maybe what we can do is delay the shutdown by a bit and say, yes, well, if we delay the shutdown, if that's an option, we'll have the job ready to perform and we can perform the work. Otherwise, you know, we're stuck adding another shutdown. We have to stop the plant to do this work because otherwise we risk catastrophic failure. So I hope I'm making myself clear here. You've just got to remember that you've got a certain interval between your tests and you've got a certain interval between the shutdowns. And you need to appreciate that, you know, for example, if you perform a test here and you're thinking, oh, I'll just keep watching the machine and then your next test is here and you go, oh dear, look, the machines are almost failed. So, you know, instead, if you detect a problem here, and you realize, hmm, if I stay with my measurement interval, I might not learn quickly enough um, uh, what the, the health is and perform the work, then I could add additional tests. And I could say, well, what was the condition here? Okay, am I comfortable now to make the call that the equipment needs to be taken out of service? Or do I wait until this uh, measurement interval again because we are performing now additional measurements to find out what's going on and here you know oops we missed it so we need to have a shutdown so you see there's this relationship between the two things this is all about taking a logical approach to how often we perform measurements recognizing how long it can take to detect problems and be confident in our diagnosis and that we only have certain intervals to stop the plant um, and to perform the work. So this is where you need to understand your situation, uh, your equipment, you know, how frequently you stop the plant and, and so on. It's just a very important part of, of going into this whole program design with our eyes wide open so that we don't have catastrophic failures or so that we're not stuck you know, with a, with a storeroom full of spares so that we can do any work at, 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 a, at short notice, but which costs an awful lot.